this is Jessica Damasa with WTF Health, and I am here at HIMSS and Health 2.0 Europe. Uh, joining me right now, I have Frederik Jorax. He is the co-founder of Dr. Alia. So welcome, tell me a little bit about Dr. Alia. It's amazing what you guys are doing and the number of users you have, so tell me. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for the, for the, for the introduction. Well, we have been doing, uh, for the last 11 years, trying to put together patients with doctors and healthcare facilities in mainly Latin America, Southern Europe, Eastern Europe. And we had last year 240 million uh, users, that is not bad, uh, and we try to we try to help them to, to well to choose the right facility at the right time at the right place uh, according to the medical the, all the medical ratings according to the to the, the use of, of online appointment and uh, well and we also try to help the doctors and healthcare facilities to have a digital identity that is not uh, well that, that that is tricky because uh, doctors don't want to be community managers, they want to work as doctors and we help them and have this, have, have this, uh, well, this presence, uh, this, this point of view in, in, the, in the internet. All right, so talk to me about that side of it first. I want to hear about what you guys are doing to support the doctors and the providers in the hospitals. So how do you help them create a digital identity? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's easy and it's not so easy. So we try to help them to put all the information. So uh, in other times, people was just cared about uh, having uh, somebody doing the doing a, a, a website for themselves but uh, this what they had no idea how important was their website in our directories we at least uh, help them to reach the, doc the people that is looking for a doctor so if they put the right information they put a picture they talk about themselves and even if they pay us they can get uh, also digital tools like online appointment and and uh, a direct message uh, tool that helps them to have more, more visibility, but not only that, also a tool to, to be in touch with their patients from the, from the future, but also from the past, from their past, from their past uh, in, in their medical offices. So, I mean, as far as like how, your pa how the patients then interact with this information, is it through an app on their phone or like what's the interface like? Well, uh, mo the, you, you, it's right that uh, most of the of the contacts are uh, with the, with the mobile phone, but uh, and we have an, an an app that was awarded as the best medical app in uh, America from Düsseldorf in 2000 in uh, 2012. But the point is that that uh, we are mostly a, a website platform, and we are. But the point, but the, the other thing is that we are working in um, doing a, a better app and and working in this uh, patient side more and more. But that because we have been very focused on the on the doctor side, giving their services, giving the option of, of putting all as much info as they could, and and we have forgotten this side. And, and the, okay, our future goes in the next years probably to reinforce this side of the patient side. So, okay, so that's what's next for you guys there. I mean, you've been in this space for, you said, 11 years. I mean, that's really impressive. So how have you seen this, you know, the, in, the exchange of information between a patient trying to find a doctor that's been a problem for 11 years and it's still not solved. So what else is next? What do you see as the future for this? You're trying to better connect patients and providers. Like, what do you hope will happen? Well, it's interesting. We, we think that uh, we should, we, we as a company, we are now the planner group because we merged two years ago with a Polish company uh, called uh, Znani Lekar that, that did the same as we did. So, and really ha this has made us uh, pass to another level. And uh, we know that, uh, that uh, all together we can now uh, try to help the people to have uh, a better healthcare experience that is trying to use technology to, be, to put more in touch the doctors and healthcare facilities with patients because, uh, as I mentioned, the doctors don't want to be all day long uh, in front of the computer just dealing with, with uh, patients, but there are IT solutions that can help them to at least uh, give them, give the patients the idea that there is somebody on the other side taking care of them. And, and it's about that, it's about feeding this ecosystem that, that as you say, uh, brilliantly, uh, it's a solution that it's a problem that, that hasn't got uh, since now uh, a global solution and we okay we are trying to do that in and as, as, as much as we can and well let's see if the future works as, as well as we want let's hope so well thank you so much for joining us it's a pleasure to catch up with you and all the best of luck if you guys want to check it out the name is dr dr alia right and so spell it for me d-o-c-k wait the hog no d-o-c d-o-c-t uh o r a l i Hey, yes, okay. okay, see, it's a tricky one, so we need to spell it so that you guys can take a look and find it. 
thank you so much for joining us again, Frederick. It's, this is Jessica Damasa here with WTF Health. Thanks so much.